Hi, welcome to this video on Lens Basics, our second part of the Canon EF Lens 101 series. In the next few minutes, I'll explain some of the lingo and terms you hear when photo enthusiasts talk lenses. Let's start with this one. You'll often hear people refer to lenses as glass. It's just a casual industry term that's become synonymous with lenses and part of the photography vernacular. Also, you can't talk lenses without talking about aperture. Sometimes you hear people use terms like aperture, lens opening, diaphragm, or iris. They all mean the size of the opening of the lens, which lets light in. If you're unsure of what aperture is or how it affects your depth of field, make sure you check out the Canon EOS 101 series. In the photo industry, we quantify the size of a lens opening with a number called an f-stop. So if someone said the aperture was set to f2.8, it would be the same thing as saying the f-stop was 2.8. The lower this f number is, the wider a lens opening we're describing. Next, let's talk about focal length. Technically, it's a measurement taken inside a lens and expressed in millimeters. In practical terms, focal length tells us how much of a scene will be captured. The shorter the focal length, or the lower the millimeter number, the wider a view the lens will capture. The higher the focal length, or the larger the number, the more of a telephoto effect we'll get. A normal lens, with a perspective similar to the human eye, is about 50 millimeters, roughly 30 millimeters for cameras with smaller APS-C size image sensors. Generally, any lens with a lower focal length can be considered wide angle, and any lens noticeably higher can be considered a telephoto lens. Many of today's lenses are zoom lenses. If a lens has a focal length of 18 to 135 millimeters, that means you can shoot it at any focal length between 18 millimeters and 135 millimeters. That brings us to the difference between a zoom lens and a prime lens. A zoom lens, like the 18 to 135 lens that I just mentioned, means that it can zoom in or out, and you can change the focal lengths by turning a ring on the lens. They're really versatile, and they help keep us from having to change lenses each time a longer or shorter focal length is needed. A prime lens is a fixed focal length lens. That means it only has one focal length and you can't zoom it. But an advantage of these lenses is that they're sometimes lighter or more compact. And a huge plus is that they often have a wider maximum aperture. That means they can let more light in and you can shoot more easily in low light. And they're great for shooting portraits when you really want that soft blur background. If you have a zoom lens, it may have two apertures listed on it. This means it's a variable aperture lens. So for example, the Canon 18 to 135 lens reads f3.5 to 5.6. At its widest focal length, in this case 18 millimeters, the widest aperture you can shoot at is f3.5. Then, as you zoom in to 135, the widest aperture you can shoot becomes smaller. So when you zoom in to 135, your widest aperture would be that second number that's listed there, which would be f5.6. Again, don't forget, if you've got questions on this, go check out the video on Aperture in the Canon EOS 101 series to learn more. One of the features that you'll find on many of the Canon telephoto lenses is called image stabilization, or IS for short. This is really helpful on telephoto lenses because when you're zoomed in on a subject, any camera movement becomes more exaggerated and you can end up with blurry photos as a result. But when you turn IS on, the lens actually helps correct this to give you a sharper photo. That said, if your camera's on a tripod, it's a good idea to remember to turn the IS feature off since the lens is already stabilized. You may notice that the letters STM appear on some of your Canon lenses. STM stands for stepping motor. Stepping motors are an ideal way to drive a camera lens for focus when we're reading focus off the imaging sensor. These focus motors are able to start and stop extremely smoothly without the jerkiness you sometimes can detect from other lenses. They're fast and quiet when you focus using the eye level viewfinder, but they come into their own for autofocus during live view shooting, and especially when recording video. So if you use either of these features a lot, consider a Canon STM lens a great way to make the experience even better. A setting that you'll see on most Canon lenses is the autofocus and manual focus switch. This is found on the side of the lens barrel 
and is usually abbreviated as AF slash MF, with autofocus on, which, by the way, is the best way to start out. The camera will take care of focusing for you. If you switch to manual focus, then you have to use the focus ring on the lens itself to focus the image. If you have more questions about the autofocus, check out the EOS 101 video. Finally, let's talk about two different terms you'll hear anytime there's talk of Canon lenses. You may notice that some lenses have an L in the name. For example, the 24 to 70 millimeter F4 L lens. You'll also be able to tell it's an L series lens because the lens itself has a red ring around it. Canon L series lenses use special optical technologies to deliver professional grade sharpness and quality. Ground and polished, aspherical lens elements, ultra low dispersion glass, and fluorite are just some of the technical terms that are used to describe some of the key components making these lenses superb. But the bottom line is that if you put an L series lens in your hands, you've opened the door to outstanding images. And they're built for professional use, so you get added durability, enhanced focus speed, and even weather resistant options too. The other thing that you'll notice is the distinction between Canon's EF lenses and two smaller series of lenses called EFS and EFM. EFS lenses are designed specifically for Canon's APS-C digital camera bodies, such as the EOS Rebel series or mid-range cameras like the EOS 80D and high performance EOS 7D series. EFM lenses work exclusively with the family of EOS M series cameras like the EOS M100 and EOS M6, with a number of options from zoom to macro. The EF lenses will work on all Canon EOS digital SLRs and will completely cover the full frame sensor area of a camera like the EOS 5D series and 6D series models. They can also be used on any EOS M series camera using the mount adapter EF EOS M. Next up, we'll explore the different categories of lenses, such as telephoto, macro, and others, and the types of photography that they're best for.